Hey, Chef, I got a guy. He's come in the last six days asking for guacamole, no avocado. I keep telling him we can't, but he just keeps asking. Tell him we'll have it tomorrow. Got a lady asking if we could take the chocolate out of the chocolate croissant. Does she want a plain croissant? I told her we had plain croissants, and she asked, no, she wants a chocolate one, but without chocolate. I want to die. Suicide pack, but you and me, let's do this, let's just, please, we can't be here anymore. Hey, the guy who ordered the shrimp wants to know if you could take the tails and deep fry them up so he could eat them like chips. No, but for lots of reasons. Primarily, the first one being, it's a health code violation to put eating food back in the deep fryer. And you know what, that's, that's the answer you're going to give him, because I don't want to get into any of the other. Jelly and ice cream dessert coming back, chef. We're getting desserts sent back now. What was wrong with it? It's jelly and ice cream. The customer said there was too much jelly and too much ice cream. Oh no, we gave them too much food. They better not be getting a refund. Manager already gave them one. Fuck! Sam and coming back, chef. What the hell was wrong with it? Customer didn't know it had fish in it. Isn't there an age limit? You can't be in this place without being 21, right? Why are we serving children? Chef, we got a customer on the phone wanting a refund. Oh no, what was wrong? Apparently after they took their food home, the leftovers, they were cold when they got home. And they would like a refund. No, 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 <laughs> no. Hey, chef, um, we got a customer with a shellfish allergy wanting to know what they can eat. You know, this is a Cajun restaurant, right? Not a lot of options, I'm guessing. They can have anything to drink and maybe the ice cream. This customer wants the sea bass plate, but she wants it vegan. So she wants just the sides then? Oh no, she wants the fish, just no animal product. <laughs> Chef, what the hell? This customer said these fries are covered in broken glass? It's rock salt. <sighs> Order of fries, coming back. All right, now what the hell is wrong with those? The customer said they weren't potato -y enough. What's more potato -y than potatoes? I don't know. There's really nothing more we can do for him. They're literally all potatoes. All right, Chef, we got a woman ordering a brisket dinner. Hold anything with beef in it. One $18 scoop of corn coming up. Hey, Chef. One of the uh, customers is asking if our cook does dances. My time has come. Tell him to meet me in the VIP room in a couple minutes. All right, BLT, double bacon. This lady knows it, it comes with six pieces of bacon. She wants 12, all right, she wants the bacon. BLT, double bacon coming back, chef. Let me guess, too much bacon? Too much bacon. Ham and cheese omelet coming back, chef. Now, what was wrong with that? The person was actually vegan. Ah, well, that makes sense. I mean, she couldn't have the coleslaw. She sent back her ham and cheese omelet because she couldn't eat the coleslaw because she was vegan. I hate people. Hey, chef, I've got that customer with the shellfish allergy wondering if she can have some fries. Probably not. We fry our shrimp in there. We fry our uh, crab in there. So it's it's cross contaminated. That's what I told them, and they're asking if you could swap the oil in the fryers so it's not cross contaminated. Swap the oil in the fryers in the middle of a rush. No, no, we're not doing that. No, no, absolutely not. Hey chef, we got a burrito, just cheese. So okay, so yeah. Nope, he specifically said, 
a burrito, not a quesadilla. He does not want a quesadilla, he wants a burrito with just cheese. He wants like a big burrito sized melty cheese log in a tortilla. You, you know what? I like this guy. Coming right up. Jeff, I've got an order of a Chicago dog, but he wants everything on the side. Why? He says he wants to assemble it himself. What, suddenly I'm not good enough to do it? Alright, I see how it is. Chicken and waffles, sub beef for chicken, top it all with ranch. Hey Chef, remember that customer that kept sending back pizzas multiple times because they had too much sauce? Oh yeah, that dingbat? What about her? She's back. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna give her a pizza with no sauce. Let's see what happens. Well, she sent it back again. Was she pissed there was no sauce? Nope! She says there was too much! Out there, the customer is always right. But back here, in this kitchen, the customer is most of the time a moron. All right, guys, we got a pizza coming in. No dough. One bowl of tomato sauce and cheese coming up. Chef, I got a customer asking if our buffalo wings are buffalo or chicken. <laughs> Bison mushroom burger coming back, Chef. What was wrong with this one? The guy saw a portobello mushroom burger, a bison burger, and he thought it was a portobello patty, like a mushroom patty. And uh, instead of mushrooms on top of a bison burger. So he didn't want it. Bison was in the, like, what did he think? Where do you think the bison would go on top of a portobello pet? Salad's coming back, chef. They said the tomato was too spicy. Tomatoes too spite? We didn't add anything to... Wait, who are you? Uh, new girl. Um... Burger coming back, chef. What was wrong with the burger? Customer said it didn't taste like McDonald's, so he didn't want it. Why? Why didn't he go to McDonald's? Tomato soup. No tomatoes. I hate everything! Hey chef, FYI, that veggie burger is vegan. The veggie burger with extra mayo? We can't do that. Mayo has eggs. Right, I'll let her know. She's asking if we can make the mayo without the eggs. No. An ultimate cheese panini coming back. Now what the hell was wrong with that? Customer said it was too cheesy. It said ultimate. Like the most cheese. I don't like people. Country fried steak coming back, chef. Why? What was wrong with it? The customer said that chicken shouldn't taste like that. I explained to him that it's actually steak, and he didn't believe me. Well, let the servers know they can beg at it, because he's paying for it. Steak salad coming back, chef. What was wrong with the steak salad? Even though I told the customer um, that it is steak, she is 100% convinced that it's actually duck. So she doesn't want it. We don't even have duck in house! Why would we lie? Philly cheesesteak coming back, chef. Ugh, why is it like soaking wet? That's why it was sent back. The lady was upset she spilled her drink all over it. And, uh, she didn't want it anymore. And that's our fault, apparently. Well, tell this clumsy bimbo she's still paying for it. 
So this was actually a fun story time that happened in my kitchen. Uh, we had a party come in and a few members of the party uh, all put in an order for uh, mini dogs. Now, a few of them were gluten free, so they wanted gluten free rolls for their mini dogs. So we ordered like three packets of these gluten free rolls individually wrapped. They barely touched any of them, so we had all these packets of gluten free rolls that were like cardboard and they were like rocks and like two days later they were literally solid as a rock and then the kitchen got in a huge fight with the manager huck and we started hucking them back and forth across the kitchen like pelting each other with these things we got into a full-blown food fight with these gluten-free rolls that were now rock solid i'm not joking we strung them together and used them as weapons so chef uh, for the last 10 days, I've had this guy come in asking for french fries with no potatoes. I don't know what to do with them anymore. Here, give him that salt shaker. I mean, that's really it. Why do people do this? Chef, we got a customer complaining that their blue cheese is moldy. Blue cheese is mold! All cheese is mold. Blue cheese especially is mold. What? All right, chicken tenders with garlic fries. That it? Nothing weird about this? Oh, thank God I can work with this one. Hey chef, I got someone wanting to order one of your t-shirts, but um, he wants to see if he can order it without the shirt. T-shirt without the shirt. Well, he can, because all of my t-shirt designs also come in sticker form. So he can get the design without the t-shirts, not a problem.